The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Ninth chapter, text number 29 through 32. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on December 21st, 1966, in New York. Samoham Sarabhuteshu Lame Deshasthinapriya Ji Bhajanti Tu Maang Bhaktya Mahite Tehi Chapaham The Lord says that I am, although I am equal to everyone, the God is nobody's enemy and nobody's special friend. Just like the king, the government, nobody's enemy, nobody's friend. Act as you act, so you get result. Similarly, for common man, there is no uh, special favor for from God. Jetu bhajanti maang bhakta. Jetu. This two means but. Here is a word, but. But means, uh, just like we sometimes say that I am such and such, but. But means there is something special. Uh, so this word is used here. Tu. Tu means but. What is that but? Jetu bhajanti maang pritta. Anyone who is engaged in devotional service, of me. Uh, so for him I have got special attention. Je tu maang bhijitu bhajanti, je bhajanti tu maang bhaktya, mai te tesu chapi ahum. As he is always constantly engaged in my service, similarly I am also engaged always in his service. Uh, the Lord says. Here, <coughs> one uh, a passage is quoted by a great commentator, uh, Baladev Vidyavasan, that Bhagavan Bhakta Bhaktima, uh, just like we become devoted, similarly, God also becomes devoted to us. Uh, don't think that one side is devotion. No. Just like love is never one-sided. Uh, love is reciprocation. Reciprocation. Similarly, although God is great, uh, He becomes a devotee of the uh, devotee. Uh, he takes pleasure in that way. Uh, it is clearly stated that I also uh, try to uh, devote myself for His service. As we take pleasure in serving God, similarly, God also takes pleasure by serving the devotee. Uh, that is reciprocal. <coughs> now, this slope we have already discussed the last, the next slope is, Apite sudrachara bhajate maam ananna bha sadhureva samantabha sammak bhavasita hisa. So, now, somebody may say that if a devotee is engaged in the service of the Lord, is that star light, but if his uh, behavior is not up to the standard, then what happens to him? Of course, a devotee is naturally developed developing the six, uh, twenty-six good qualities, but even if he does not develop those qualities, of course that very quality that he is a devotee of Krishna, that is sufficient. But still, if somebody is not up to the point, but he is uh, unflinching, and is, uh, not moving, he is perfect devotee of Krishna. Then Lord Krishna says, Abhite sudurachara 
अपीते सुदुराचार दुराचारो मीन्स इज कॉन्डक्ट इज नॉट गुड एंड सुदुराचारो मीन्स इज स्टिल फार दैट सो अपीते सुदुराचार भजते माव अन्य भाग अन्य भाग मीन्स विदाउट डिविएसिंग हिज एटेंशन टू एनी अदर डेमी गॉड और एनी अदर बिजनेस If one is simply ten percent engaged in my service, but his character, his um, general activities are not so to the point, is still uh, the Lord says, "Sadhu reva samantapa." Sadhu means uh, um, a pious man uh, or a religious man. Uh, uh, sadhu means the honest man and all good qualities. Is still, although he is found that uh, he is not to the standard, but his only qualification is that he is acting in Krishna consciousness sincerely. Uh, uh, it may be. Suppose I have got some bad character from the beginning of my life, but I have understood that Krishna consciousness is very nice. I shall take to it. So I am trying. Trying my best, but at the same time, because I am habituated to something, I cannot uh, give it up. Uh, although I know that uh, this my habit is not good, but still, uh, habit is the second nature. I cannot give it up. The Lord Krishna recommends that is still He is good. Uh, uh, there is no uh, question that He is not a sadhu or He is not an honest, He is not a really good man. The simple one qualification that he is Krishna conscious and is acting sincerely, but failing sometimes, but still he is to be taken as sadhu. Sadhu means honest, religious, pious. Sadhu reva samantabha. And one may say that uh, yes, because he is devotee of God, devotee of Krishna. We may call him sadhu, but not saint person. Now Krishna says no saint person, sir. In spite of his that bad character, is saint person, sir. So this is the recommendation. Why? Why is Krishna stressing on this point that whatever he may be, still he is honest, he is sadhu, he is religious, he is pious. Why? That is to be understood in the next. <laughs> so this sudra chara, sudra chara means that uh, according to time, according to circumstances, according to uh, so many there are influences. Just like uh, I have come to your country, just uh, so far, uh, rigid regulation and rules and a concern. Uh, And in the beginning, of course, we do not find such opportunities to strictly follow. But still, we should not uh, give so much attention for the uh, regulation or uh, strict rules and regulation. But we must see how much a person is advancing Krishna consciousness. That we have to see. Uh, and if we go on criticizing every word, oh, you are not doing this, you are not doing this, you are doing this, so many things. Uh, according to uh, uh, the Vedic culture, there may be so many things, but we are not concerned. As far as possible, people should be given chance uh, to develop Krishna consciousness. Uh, uh, Rupa Goswami, one of the big acharya, he says, "Jeno deno prakare na manak Krishna nivesha." The first business is. Somehow or other, people should be Krishna conscious. So far, rules and regulations are concerned. Jena tena prakare na manak Krishna nivesha hai sarve sarve vidhi nisi rasu reeta yo revo kinkara. If one takes to that line of activities, Krishna consciousness, then all things, all regulation will follow, just like a Servant follows a master. If the master starts, the servant follows. Similarly, these things, rules and regulation, that will follow automatically. And the next law, and the Lord says, 
क्षिप्रम भवती धर्मात्मा बिकॉज यू हैज टेकन टू दैट कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस वेरी सोन ही विल बी परफेक्ट पायसनेस दिस प्रोसेस विल हेल्प यू डोंट बी टू मच एंग सेट दो आई एम नॉट इन सच वे आई एम नॉट इन सच वे वट एवर वे यू मे बी यू जस्ट टेक टू दिस कृष्ण कॉन्सियस वेरी इजी थिंग If you take this Krishna consciousness, the uh, chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, very sincerely and regularly, as far as possible, by following the rules and regulation, this Krishna consciousness will help you to become a perfect and pious man very soon. Kipra, Kipra means very soon, just like. Uh, in the material world, suppose if you want to sit on the bench of a high court judge, oh, you will have to acquire so many qualifications. You have to be a very big lawyer, and government must recognize that you are a good lawyer. Then there will be so many recommendation by the bar association, by the lawyers. Then you can be recommended. But here the process is just uh, that anyway you sit down on the high court judge. Then all education will come. Don't you see how nice it is? Anyway, if if somebody takes to Krishna consciousness naturally and generally, it will be found that he is becoming gradually the perfect pious man, perfect honest man. Then it will be. Hitram bhavati dharmatma satsat shanti nirachchati. Such shanti, because he will relish, he will relish this Krishna consciousness so nicely that will give up all nonsense automatically. I don't like, it. don't like. It. This is the problem. He will give up automatically. Parang drishtyani vartate, ah, parang drishtyani vartate. The whole world is after sense gratification, but a Krishna conscious person. Ah, uh, just uh, very soon he will find that all these nonsense. Oh, uh, there is no happiness. He will give it up. Indeed, it is so nice. Thing. Somewhere or other, if you take to Krishna consciousness, ah, uh, your ah, uh, I mean, reluctance for sense gratification will automatically. Automatically, you have got to train yourself that how to stop my sense gratification. If you simply go on chanting Hare Krishna sincerely, uh, and what is that process? Chanting and hearing. Uh, when you chant is here, and you enjoy, and you enjoy so nicely that you give up all that is not wanted in the advancement of the spiritual life. Kipra, uh, this is recommendation by Krishna Himself. Uh, Not that I am advertising because I am preaching as Krishna consciousness. Therefore, I am advertising. Advertising the candidate may take it. But Krishna Himself says, "Kipram hodi dharma ma satsat shanti nigachchati." Shanti means he very soon he attains that perfect eternal happiness, <coughs> perfect peaceful life. Eternal life, blissful life, the very soon attainment. Why? So on the apratijani, apratijani, my dear Rajju, you can declare this to the world. You declare. Why Krishna is not declaring? Krishna is declaring through his devotee, because Krishna has a promise that I shall protect my devotee. If it, if if a promise is there <coughs> by the devotee, that cannot be violated. Krishna can because he is God; he can violate his own promise because he is he is a, a supreme. But he wants to <coughs> protect his devotee. Therefore, he is uh, trying uh, to uh, give the declaration to his devotee that it will be protected. <coughs> I'll give you one example. How Krishna sometimes breaks his promise. 
It is very nice story. Uh, Krishna, when he joined Arjun, he uh, promised from his own side that because the fight is between your brothers, so it is not my duty, because both of the, you are my relatives, so it is not my duty to join one party and not to join another. But uh, because uh, I have divided myself, myself one side and uh, other side my soldiers, but Durjanan has um, decided to take my soldiers, not me, so I shall join it. But I shall not fight. I shall not fight. I may take some uh, war with my sister. So, uh, I do not fight. Whatever war you like, you can take. So he said, all right, I shall drive your chariot. <coughs> so Krishna's promise was that he will not fight. But at the time, when Arjuna was perplexed while fighting with Bhishma, Bhishma was the greatest fighter, although he was a very old man, <coughs> Dujyadhan, uh, I mean, incited him that because the other side are your very pet grandsons, you are not fighting fully. Uh, that was the complaint of Dujyadhan. So, in order to encourage, encourage him, uh, uh, he, Durjadhan, uh, Bhishma said to Durjadhan, all right, tomorrow I shall uh, finish all these five brothers. Tomorrow I shall finish. Uh, and I have got now special uh, arrows for killing these five uh, Siddhartha's brothers. So Durjadhan was very intelligent. He told, all right, uh, please keep these five arrows with me for the night. I shall deliver you tomorrow in the morning. Oh, no, to check. And Krishna, understood, Krishna is, everything knows, past, present, future, Krishna uh, knew it, that Vishma has now promised he will keep. So he asked uh, Arjuna, this is also politics, that he go to our Dujyadhan. Do you remember that Dujyadhan, Dujyadhan was elderly than Arjuna? that he, he would uh, uh, keep uh, uh, some promise uh, which he has offered to you. Uh, whenever you want something, I shall give you. Then this is the time you can go. And what is that? Now he has got five arrows for killing you. You should take and come to me. So after fight, they were friends. So uh, Arjuna went to the camp of Dujyadhan and was well received. Well, Arjun, come on, what do you want? Come on, sit down. Do you want anything from me? Uh, if you want, I can stop this fight, I can return it. Uh, Arjun said, no, I have not come to you for begging my kingdom. Fighting will go on, but I want. You promise something, yes, I know, I will offer you. What do you want? Now I want those five arrows. At once you give you. Thank and this information was uh, carried to, uh, I mean to say, Bhishma. Bhishma knew that Krishna is very cunning also. He will save his devotee. Uh, so he has done this. All life, in spite of Krishna, uh, he has broken my promise. And tomorrow I shall see, if Krishna does not break his promise, then his friend will be killed. I will fight in such a way. So, he was fighting in such a way that Arjuna become almost uh, dead. Then at that time, <coughs> Krishna, uh, the, the chariot was torn into pieces, and Arjuna fell down. And then Krishna took up one of the wheels of the chariot and uh, came, came before. Now, Krishna, you stop this fighting, otherwise I will kill you. Krishna at one uh, gave us his arrow. And he offered all right, kill me. <coughs> the thing is that uh, because Bhishma promised that I shall uh, kill Arjun tomorrow, and uh, Krishna also promised not to fight, just to save these two devotees, uh, Arjun and Bhishma. Bhishma was also a great devotee. Just to show him that I am breaking my promise. Please stop. I am breaking. You want it. That either I shall break my promise or you shall kill uh, Arjuna. 
<coughs> so better see that I have broken my promise. Uh, in this way, sometimes part devotee, he sometimes breaks his own promise. So here Krishna says, Kondya Pradijani, uh, you promise, so I shall protect your promise. And what is that? Uh, Name Bhakta Pranasati. Anyone who has taken to Krishna's consciousness will be never destroyed. Will never be destroyed. Name Bhakta Pranasati. What is that destruction? The destruction is, of course, a living entity is never destroyed. So far is oh, constitution is concerned. Nahanata Hanavana, this destruction of this body is not a destruction. Real destruction is that we, when we lose our spiritual consciousness, we lose our identity, that is destruction. That is destruction. That are now, uh, in our material conception of life, we are practically destroyed. Uh, because, destroyed in this way. Because as spiritual being, I have got my eternal life, I have got my blissful life, I have got my knowledge, full knowledge, but here I am living in a wretched condition that my life is not eternal, I am not blissful, and I am not in full knowledge. So don't you think that we are already destroyed? We are thinking that I am very much advancing in civilization. But unless you revive your original life of eternity, and full knowledge and bliss, oh, you should know that you are not at fault, you are being defeated by the illusory energy. This is destruction. Destruction of my real life is materialism. So here Krishna says, Kontya Pratijani, uh, please declare in the world <coughs> that anyone who has taken to this Krishna consciousness will never be destroyed. <coughs> He'll never go back again to that material life of uh, sense gratification and uh, pull up this uh, material existence, pull up material life. He'll be taken. He'll be taken up as sooner or later, as he has taken to this Krishna consciousness, he'll be never uh, uh, destroyed. Our destruction, we always remember, our destruction means material ex existence is the destruction of our spiritual existence. Because the destra, destra does not mean that as spiritual being I will be nowhere. No. This is my position, nowhere. I do not know. Uh, just like I am being kicked like a football. Uh, I, have, I have no place. Uh, that we have seen football play. The football has no play. As soon as come somebody's feet, uh, he kicks. Uh, he goes to another body, he kicks. He is another word, kicking. His only situation is being kicked. Football. So you are just like football. You are being, being kicked up. Huh? Now I am American. Huh? Next time I shall be kicked up to China. Huh? Maybe. I am from China, I will be kicked up to India. And from India I shall be kicked up to Burma, I will be kicked up to another world. This is going on. We do not know. How we are being kicked up like a football from one place to another, one place to another. It is all false notion. Uh, how long I shall remain here? Uh, therefore, <coughs> this is the only way, Krishna concept, to become perfect. Uh, perfection means to attain uh, spiritual life, eternity, blissful, and full of knowledge. Uh, that is waiting us. Uh, that is waiting us. Why should we refuse it? Uh, it is not a theory. Uh, don't think that Bhagavad Gita is, uh, is something imaginary thing. No. People have taken to it, they have practiced, they have attained success. It is coming on uh, since a very, very long time. It was first advised to the sun god, then after many, many millions of years, again, five thousand years before, it was advised to Arjuna. So it is coming down, it is accepted by all great acharyas of India and is being followed, is still being followed. So take it. <coughs> Don't be distraught. Uh, take to Krishna consciousness and we will be saved. 
he saved from the destruction in the material. Suppose if I am thrown into the ocean, that is practically my destruction. Huh? I may be very good swimmer, but that is no hope. Uh, that is no hope of my life. Any moment I can go down into the depth of the ocean. Uh, similarly, we are uh, struggling very hard in the material uh, ocean of existence. Uh, simply struggling, just like a man is trying to save himself in the Atlantic Ocean. Similarly, we are also trying here. Yeah. Uh, this is not the process of, of uh, getting yourself from the... Um, uh, the struggle for existence, ocean. The thing is, one must get you out from the ocean. Isa maham samudhatya mittu samasaru sagra. So Krishna promises, we will find in the later tenth chapter, that those who are in Krishna consciousness, uh, I promise, I shall take him from this ocean of birth and death. <coughs> J.P. Supapa Junaya, Theo Vaishyasatha Suddha Sthiti Janthi Paramhati. Now, <clears throat> somebody may inquire, now to become a Krishna conscious person, uh, is there any qualification required? Uh, Bhagavad Gita was spoken by Lord Krishna, he, was, um, he appeared to be a Hindu, and he was spoken in India. And uh, all the acharyas, the very learned men, they have adopted. But how we can take to this Krishna consciousness? Uh, I am not. Uh, I do not belong to uh, such particular creed or such particular country. Uh, now Krishna says no. <coughs> that is not disqualification. Mangi partha vipassita jivisu papujuna. Papujuna, of course, according to Vedic literature. There are uh, hmm. mentions of uh, uh, Papa Joni. Joni means species. Papa Joni. Uh, just like it is mentioned here. Striya, Sudra, Striya, Vaishya, Satha, Sudra, Sthiti, Janati, Parangati. Uh, even uh, the Striya, even omen, uh, they are also uh, classified about the Papa Joni. Papa Joni means those who have got uh, uh, little uh, facility for advancing themselves in spiritual life. Uh, so it is particularly mentioned here, Sriya, the omen class, Sudra, uh, Sudra means the uh, liberal class and uh, uh, the Vaisha, mercantile class. Uh, or less than that. Because in India, according to the caste system or Varnasam Dharma, the Brahmin and Kshatriyas are considered to be the highest in the society. And uh, the Vaisha, a little less than that. And in Sudra, they are not taken into account. Uh, uh, in the, similarly, woman class, they are taken as Sudra. Sudra. Just like the thread ceremony is given to the Brahman, Kshatri, Vaisha. But there is no thread ceremony for the woman class. Uh, although the woman is born in the Brahmin family, she has now that reformation. Uh, because Sriya, uh, uh, the woman class, have taken less intelligence, they should be given protection, uh, but uh, uh, they cannot be elevated. But here in the Bhagavad Gita, he surpasses all these uh, formalities. Lord Krishna surpasses all these formalities. He is giving facility to everyone. Never mind what is. Uh, in the social structure, you may consider that woman is less intelligent, or sudra and uh, less purified. But in spiritual consciousness, there is no such bar. Here Krishna accepts everyone. Uh, either you become woman, or you are sudra, or a vaisya, or whatever you name, that doesn't matter. If you simply take to Krishna consciousness, the Lord is there, He will give you all protection. All protection, and gradually He will help you. Uh, <coughs> you are already one who is in the Krishna consciousness platform. He is already in the liberated platform. Simply keep from. It will, it will take some time only, keep from. But very soon, He will be all right. 
So this is the proposal of Lord Krishna. Uh, this is the facility of Krishna consciousness. So we should take this advantage of being Krishna conscious, never mind what we are, and that will help us in attaining the perfection of life. Mahani Partha Vipasit to JP Supapu Jana. This is very clearly declared here. Never mind what he is, he is or she is. Just take to this process of Krishna consciousness and your progress and advances of spiritual life is guaranteed. Thank you. Thank you.